Hey you guys, you're Marta Geek. In this video, I wanted to share with you a very cool look at a new dock that I received, right? Uh, now, this, of course, is the normal, typical dock for the Nintendo Switch. And one complaint that I would have to say about this dock is that, I don't know why, and let me know in the comments how many of you guys have the problem that the dock has been causing scratching, you know, scratches on the sides here on every Nintendo Switch that I've had, and I think I've had like five or six n different Nintendo Switches um, since they came out. Um, there is a dock, of course, that I've done videos for, like these type of docks, which are for traveling, and they work perfectly good. Truly recommend them, especially if you're traveling. But a very good home dock, you know, home dock alternative is this one right here that I just received which I really, really, really like. And I think a lot of you guys will also as well. Now, over here on the side, of course, this right here says Mobile Pad Switch TV Docking Station. This was sent to me so I can try it out, make a video for you guys. So, so that's what I'm doing here. Um, it says here, HDMI resolution 4K, 30 hertz, which obviously that's not capable of 4K, but whatever. Uh, USB-C port supports power delivery up to 100 watts. Uh, three port USB 3.0 up to five gigabits per second. There you go. Look at this. It comes with this right here, which works with the Mobile Pad Pro HD, which is this right here, I believe. This is from Mobile Pad as well, and it comes with the Switch Pro a little adapter as well. And it's going to show you guys right away. Let's going to take this out of here. I already used this dock, so and I put it back here. It comes with this right here, which it's cool that they have adapters, charging adapters for both controllers, their controller and the Pro Nintendo Switch controller. And it's also compatible with every controller that's basically the same ship, shape as the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. So right here, for example, this is the mobile pad. I did a video for this a while, I think like a year ago. This right here, it comes with this. So if you have this controller boom this is gonna fit perfectly there right see like that no gap whatsoever here but if you have like a Nintendo Switch Pro controller or any Nintendo Switch Pro controller alternative that basically has the same shape of it like this one right here is actually gonna fit as well so I see that has a little gap right there but it works at least I can use both. They both work perfectly. So let's go and show you guys. Of course, it has like a little instruction menu here as well, but I believe it's in Chinese. Uh, this is also very simple to use. There's no, you know, there's no really learning curve here to actually start using this. So it didn't come with cables. So you're going to be using your own cables that you have. And here it is. Is this is how it looks over here in the C side says designed by mobile pad here on the back these are the connections necessary this is where you're going to uh, connect the power adapter this is going to connect to the TV HDMI out to the TV and of course you got USB 3.0 which you can connect there the USB Ethernet dongle if you have it or any other thing you want to charge there as well you, you can put it there so and this is right here 18 watts over here in the front, it says the same thing, 18 watts, mobile pad. It has two LED lights right there, which lets you see uh, which device is actually charging when you're actually charging it. And here, this is where the controller is going to rest. And the Nintendo Switch is actually going to rest right here as well. I got the HDMI cable here. I got the power here. There you go. Oops. Oh, crap. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Let's put this to the side. And here, the Nintendo Switch is going to go like that. Look at that. The Nintendo Switch is going to go like that. Look at that. Awesome. And when it's there, you can actually see that there's a little light up here, down here in the bottom. That actually shows that the Nintendo Switch is charging. When it's not charging, it will just stay, it will just stay uh, completely static. So like there's blinking, nice. And here, of course, if I have a pro controller with this, put it right there, 
This is not the Pro Controller, of course. This is from Bing Buck, I believe. And like see that, it starts charging right away. And over here in the bottom, you're gonna also see the lights blinking as well. Right in there, disconnected. But you can see the lights blinking as well. Same thing, if you put this controller, just fall like that. This one is actually fits perfectly. They both feel fits perfect. There's no problem whatsoever how, if you have the Pro Controller, if you have this controller, it's going to be super, super spot on right there. That's so good. Yeah, of course, that's the, where the Nintendo Switch lies right here. And like you see there, you're not gonna get any scratches on the side of the screens. And it's also very stable there, so you're not, even if you move it around, this is not gonna be like wobbling side to side. So that's very really cool. Put it here, turn it on the Nintendo Switch. Is it on? Yeah. Yeah, put it here. So like you see here on the videos, just like the normal Nintendo Switch, it just connects really fast to the screen. Uh, the only reason there's like a little bit of lag there on the video is because my Nintendo Switch is actually connected to the Elgato device and from the Elgato is actually going to the monitor. So that's the reason why there's a little bit of delay there when it's connecting, but in reality, it connects as fast as the Nintendo Switch if you were to connect it to directly to the TV. So other than that, I think this dock is actually pretty nice. Um, if you, you happen to buy the Nintendo Switch without a dock, because a lot of people buy the Nintendo Switches, you know, use, and sometimes they don't get the dock, and you want to get a dock that you can use for your Nintendo Switch and your controller, I think this is a very good option. I don't know the price of it yet. I'll leave links in my descriptions, uh, but I believe it should be cheaper than the normal dock, and you can charge your Pro Controller as well. And it comes with both adapters. This adapter for the, you know, nor, um, mobile pad controller. And it comes with the adapter for the Pro Controller, which if you have one of these are uh, alternative controllers that are shaped equally to the Pro Controller, this thing is actually going to work. So other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this dock. I'll leave links in my descriptions, like I said, just in case you're interested in getting it. Thanks for watching this video. Any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.